PyScript is a tool that translates Python code into JavaScript, allowing it to be run in any environment that supports JavaScript. So, let's get started right away. PyScript allows us to write Python code that translates into JavaScript. This means that you can run your Python code in any environment that supports JavaScript, which is virtually every modern web browser. PyScript is a bridge that connects the versatility of Python with the ubiquity of the web. The magic behind it lies in WebAssembly, a virtual machine that is supported by modern web browsers. It leverages WebAssembly to run versions of the Python interpreters smoothly in the web browser. So let's take a look at some examples right away. To give you an idea of how PyScript works, let's take a look at a simple example. Let's say we have the following pretty straightforward Python code. With PyScript, it gets translated into JavaScript and can be directly run in your browser. Pretty cool, right? Here is a simple example of how to integrate PyScript into an HTML file. In the following HTML code, we first included the PyScript library using a script tag in the head section and the CDN delivering PyScript. Then, we wrote our PyScript code inside the script tag in the body section using a PyScript tag. This script creates a simple greeting and displays it in the alert box. The following snippet creates a simple web app that allows users to enter two numbers and then multiplies them together. In the corresponding HTML file, you would have two input fields for the user to enter the numbers and the button that calls the multiply numbers function when clicked. This example demonstrates how PyScript can interact with HTML elements and handle user events, making it a powerful tool for web development. You can as well import the corresponding Python script from a file if you wanted to. PyScript utilizes both the foreign function interface, FFI, and WebAssembly to enable Python code to be executed in a JavaScript environment. The FFI is a mechanism that enables PyScript to call upon JavaScript functions and interact with JavaScript objects. This is essential for PyScript to interact with the browser's document object model, the DOM, or other web APIs. For example, if you want to display an alert box in the web browser, you can use FFI to call the alert method of the JavaScript window object from your Python code. On the other hand, WebAssembly is a binary instruction format for a stack-based virtual machine. It is designed as a portable target for the compilation of high-level languages like C, C++, and Rust, enabling deployment on the web for client and server applications. On the context of PyScript, WebAssembly is used to run a version of the Python interpreter in the web browser. This means that when you write Python code and run it through PyScript, that code is actually being executed by a Python interpreter running in WebAssembly in the browser. PyoDite is a port of CPython to WebAssembly. It's a key component in PyScript because it's a WebAssembly built of Python. This means that it allows Python to run in the browser. Without PyoDite, PyScript wouldn't be able to translate Python code into JavaScript and then execute it in the browser environment. Therefore, PyoDite is essential for enabling Python code to be run in virtually any environment that supports JavaScript. One of PyScript's greatest challenges is the handling of import statements and libraries, particularly when it comes to libraries not supported by JavaScript. For example, consider the popular Python library NumPy. The following code would fail in PyScript because it does not support the NumPy library. There is no JavaScript equivalent of NumPy that PyScript can automatically use in place of the Python version. To use unsupported Python libraries or complex Python features, you will need to either find a JavaScript equivalent or rewrite your code to avoid the unsupported features. This can make PyScript less suitable for complex applications that rely heavily on specific Python libraries. As a further example, I would like to demonstrate the following. In Python, you might use the requests library to send a GET request like this. However, PyScript can't use Python libraries like requests because it translates Python code into JavaScript. So in PyScript, you would have to use JavaScript's fetch API to send a GET request instead. So like everything, PyScript has its pros and cons. On the plus side, PyScript allows Python developers to easily extend their reach into web development without having to learn a new language. It's also lightweight and efficient, making it a good choice for simple web apps. On the downside, PyScript's reliance on JavaScript means it doesn't have access to all of Python's libraries and features. It's also not as fast as native JavaScript for more complex applications. I hope this video has given you an understanding of what PyScript is about and how it works and when it might be the right tool for you. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more technologies. Until then, keep coding and... Cheers.